If you were writing an autobiography, what would your opening sentence be? My birth was announced with notices in two English local newspapers. It was the Bista Times. It was the Worcester Times. You made a mistake buying this book. I was a baby when I was born. When I was born, I briefly held the record for being the youngest person alive. It was all downhill from there. Just because my parents wanted to fuck back in 1964, I'm stuck here cleaning up everyone's fuck ups. Neither of my parents showed up for my own birth. In the beginning, Anonymous was created. This had made many people very angry and has been widely regarded as a bad move. So I was chilling out in this super comfortable uterus when suddenly. The depression was crippling, as was the cringe. Most of what I remember didn't happen, and most of what I don't remember did. I've written hundreds of stories before this. Each one a fictional escape where the main character is as different from me as I can possibly make them. This one's different, I guess. You're probably wondering how I got myself to this point. Record scratching noises. Rewind. Wait. I think that only works in the movies. Oh well. Let's start over. You might as well turn the page. This is about to get awkward. I am not the type of person who writes autobiographies. And if you're interesting, you likely don't read many. I will endeavor to make this entertaining for both of us. My eyes opened immediately, trying to adjust to the pitch black coldness. I groggily weighed up the decision as I did each. I'd just lift the carpet tiles and pee on the. Should I run the gauntlet of the dark hallway and stairs? The knife came hurtingly towards me, seemingly out of nowhere. Looking back, I realized that I brought it all upon myself. I am not a reliable narrator of my own life. Mistakes were made. This book may seem like a work of fiction, a horror story, a Shakespearean tragedy, a heartwarming tale of hope, but I assure you, everything within the confines of these pages actually happened. The good and the bad. It wasn't always this bad. It was the worst of times. It was the worst of times. I was born a poor black child, the jerk. He was born in a rural log cabin that he built with his own bare hands. Do not, under any circumstances, attempt to replicate or reenact any experiences in this book. Do you know the true meaning of insanity? Despite what Forrest Gump said, life is not, in fact, like a box of chocolates. It was a dark and stormy night. This is my opening sentence. I have laid dormant in the bowels of the earth for millions of years. W H O dare disturb my slumber? Sometimes, good things happen to bad people. This is a story of a man who started at the bottom and, with a lot of hard work, stayed at the bottom and then ended up at the bottom. Despite all odds, he persisted. On the day I was born, all the nurses gathered round. Looking back, I'm amazed that I somehow emerged somehow sane and kind. Not all of life's lessons are learned easily. I closed my eyes, said "fuck," and waited to die. When I next opened my eyes, I was a different person. That's when my life really began. I was the only black man at the party. With a blank page before me, I could write my story as a comedy, a tragedy. 
or a somber warning I could paint myself a hero, a villain, or a victim I could say that I was the driving force of my destiny or merely a vessel of fate. New or this is the story all about how. Well. Shit. It all started with a lot of screaming, blood, and violence. There's really no point in reading this book beyond this sentence. In retrospect, this was mostly all my fault. With great power, comes great responsibility at least that is what Uncle Ben used to say. The opening lyrics to Ministries connect the dots. In the beginning, I was born. This has made a lot of people very angry and being widely regarded as a bad move. Like I always say, there's a difference between waking up and coming to. You seriously thought my life is interesting enough to read? So I'm sitting there. Barbecue sauce on my titties. I tied a rope around my penis and jumped from a tree. My birth was nothing special. All characters here are fictional. Take everything with a grain of salt. I tried but I failed. Well, that didn't go to plan. It all started out so hopefully with seemingly endless, happy possibilities. Hakuna Matata War War never changes. So there I was. No keys, no phone, poop everywhere. I was scanning Reddit wondering if I should write my autobiography and Call me Catacombs Rave. This is the true story of an incredibly boring, average, mundane guy who has the most unbelievably crazy shit happen to him on a regular basis. It's 2023, and life has its little insanities. My sister killed me when I was four. It all started when I was born. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. Well, I fucked that up. On October 16, 1988 Jesus Christ was reborn to this earth, precious, perfect and pretty. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. Welp. That happened. Boy let me tell you all about it. Mi vida, en la basura, la historia de mi. The following will be my autobiography. A.K.A. my suicide note. Is this a recounting of my life? Or simply a sequence of events that I had no control over and assimilated into my idea of who I am? Well, here I am, writing an autobiography. To the three people who will read this, don't waste your time, skip to chapter 16 right now. Life isn't always a banana split. I was spat out of my mother's womb. Stuff is happening. It seemed as though I had only just died before I was born. This book will likely never be published. As I sit and reflect on my life and how it shaped the adventures and journeys I took I've decided to put pen to paper and see where this ends up. WTF happened there then? The power was out and the wind was roaring louder than the tornado sirens when I was born it feels as if that storm has not yet passed. So my problems began when I was born. It was a dark stormy night. You ain't gonna believe this shit. The man in black fled across the desert, and I sat on my recliner eating Taco Bell. It was the best of times, it was the blurst of times. While ain't gonna believe this shit.